Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to uh, solve this differential equation. So this is a Bernoulli differential equation, and the way you know that is because of this here, this 2, this y to a power. So in general, the standard form of a Bernoulli is the following. It's dy dx plus p of x y equals f of x times y to the nth power, where n here is not 0 and n is not equal to 1. If n is equal to 0 or 1, it becomes uh, linear. So the, the first step in solving Bernoulli differential equations is to write them in this form. So we'll start by dividing everything by x. So we'll end up with dy dx, right, dividing this by x and then divide this by x, and then we'll take this here and divide it by x. So we can write the second term as 1 over x y. And then this piece here, when you divide by x, you really multiply by 1 over x. So you can write it as 1 over x, and then bring up the y, so that'll become y to the negative 2. So now it's in what's called the standard form. So that's the first step, is to make it look like this. The next step is to identify n. So in this case, n is negative 2. And then we make a substitution. The formula is u equals y to the 1 minus n. So you carefully plug in the n. So this is y to the 1 minus negative 2. So this is y to the 3. So u equals y to the 3. The next step is to solve for y. So you can do this in one move by taking the cube root of both sides as follows. Because now the 3 cancels, so you get y equals the cube root of u. So I'm going to write that as u to the 1 third. So quick recap. First thing you do is you write it in standard form, check. You find n, check. You use your formula to find u, check. Solve for y, looks good. Now you find the derivative of y with respect to x. So this is the part where sometimes people mess up. So dy dx, this is equal to, okay, so we do have to think a little bit here, a little bit harder. So y is the solution to this differential equation. So y is a function of x, but u is equal to y cubed. Therefore, u is also a function of x. So when we take the derivative of this piece here, we do have to use the chain rule. So you bring the 1 third down, leave the inside piece untouched. 1 third minus 1 is 1 third minus 3 thirds, so it's negative 2 thirds, and then times the derivative of the inside, so du dx. This is a super key step. I'm going to put this in a box because it's important. And I'm also going to put this in a box because it's important. We're going to use these two things now. So every time you find dy dx, you're going to get a du dx from the chain rule. The next step is to carefully substitute. So I'm going to use a different color. So this is 1 third. And Bernoulli's are, are really nice. If they seem hard at first, it's OK. But just know that once you can do one of these on your own, you got it. That's the nice thing about Bernoulli's. It's, you just learn the steps, and then once you can do it, you can do it forever. So we replace dy dx with this piece here, plus 1 over x. And then y is u to the 1 third. So it'll be u to the 1 third. And this is equal to 1 over x. OK, so let's do some math here. It's y to the negative 2. So that's u to the 1 third to the negative 2. So you multiply the negative 2 and the 1 thirds. That's u to the negative 2 thirds. So this will be u to the negative 2 thirds, just like that. OK, good stuff. So now we have to solve this. So um, this is going to be linear. So you basically have to get rid of this piece here. So if you've never done this before, you're tempted to divide by this. That makes it really hard to think about. So the way I do it, is I write down what I'm going to do and then I actually do it. So to get rid of the 1 third, we have to multiply by 3. So I'm going to put mult by, so we need a 3, 
And then to get rid of the u to the negative two-thirds, we need a u to the two-thirds. And the reason is when you multiply u to the two-thirds by u to the negative two-thirds, you end up adding the fractions, adding the exponents. So you get u to the zero, which is one. Okay, so always, I always write it down. And now we'll perform the multiplication. So this times this, well, it's all going to go away. So look how beautiful that is, du dx. That's the whole point. Now we're taking this, and we're multiplying it by the middle term. So we have plus, okay, we, we end up with a 3. So it'll be 3 over x. And then look at this, u to the 2 thirds times u to the 1 third. So you get 2 thirds plus 1 third. So you get 3 thirds. So you get 1. This will always be a 1. It's always going to be u to the 1. If you don't get u to the 1 here, you did it wrong, okay? Because this should always be linear. And then the last one, uh, we'll, we're left with the 3 over x. And yeah, that's it. Because u to the 2 thirds times u to the negative 2 thirds, you add the exponents. So you get u to the 0, which is equal to 1. Okay, once you're here, now it's linear. So now we go back and use the method of linear DEs. So this is in standard form. Automatically, it always will be. This is your big P. And remember, the formula for the integrating factor is mu of x equals e to the integral of big P dx. That's from, from linear equation theory. So this is equal to the integral of 3 over x dx. 1 over x gives you the natural log of the absolute value of x. So this is 3 ln absolute value of x. Don't worry about the plus c. You can bring the 3 upstairs using the power rule for logs. This is e to the natural log of the absolute value of x cubed. This is a beautiful problem. The e and the ln cancel. We get the absolute value of x cubed. And let's pretend it's positive. So we'll just make it x cubed. So this is only if x is positive. The question did not ask us uh, for this, or the, and they didn't ask for like any type of interval for the solution. So it's not really going to matter. So you can just always drop the absolute value and make it positive. So mu of x is equal to x cubed. I'm going to put this in a box because this is an accomplishment. So now we take the integrating factor and we multiply each term in our linear equation by x cubed. So we have x cubed du dx, these are long problems, plus x cubed times 3 over x. That's going to become uh, 3x squared because one of the x's will cancel. And we have our u. And then same thing here, 3x squared. OK. All right. The next step is to recall that this automatically always becomes ddx and it's always your integrating factor times your unknown functions. If you remember from from linear, I'll write it over here, it's always mu of x times your function, the function you're solving for. So here mu of x is x cubed. In the past our function has always been y. However in this case it's actually u. So it's times u and this is equal to 3x squared. Oh, this is nice. This is a really good example of a Bernoulli because it's not too hard now. I mean, all the steps that we did before are typical. Uh, and sometimes this becomes a little bit harder, but this is, this is good. So now we, oh, and you can check this, right? You can check this using the product rule. In fact, let's check. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So the derivative of the first times the second, which is u, plus the first, which is x cubed times the derivative of u, which is du dx. So the product rule, remember the product rule is fg prime. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So you can use the product rule to check your work that this does in, in fact actually work. Um, to get rid of the ddx, we just integrate. I like to write integrate. And then on the left-hand side, the ddx just goes away. This is really easy to integrate too. We use the power rule. So this is 3x cubed over 3, and then plus our constant c. Let's go ahead and divide by x cubed because it makes it look pretty. So this is u equals, this cancel, 
1 plus c over x cubed. It looks so simple, it looks wrong. <laughs> and we're not done, right? We need to know uh, what u is. So u is way up here. Here it is. u is y cubed. So let's go back in and plug it in. So y cubed equals 1 plus c over x cubed. This would be, this would be an implicit solution, right? We didn't really solve for y. Um, we just left it like that. If you solve for y, you would take the cube root of both sides, and you would get the cube root of 1 plus c over x cubed. So this would be what's called an explicit solution, and the first one is called an implicit. Explicit means that you actually solve uh, for, for y. So that's it. That's how you solve a Bernoulli DE. This might be, um, actually, I hate to say, but this might be an easier one. I mean, the it didn't work out uh, too bad, and they're all pretty much the same. The only real difference sometimes is down here, this integration can be more difficult. But in this case, things were good. I hope this video has been helpful.